Hey everyone, today we are going to demonstrate why ambient air entrainment is needed when trying to convey a part or material. For today's demonstration I have a 2 inch aluminum line back with 6 inches of suction tubing, 12 inches of discharge, and a vented cap so that my part doesn't go flying out. The line vacs are used in a multitude of applications with the core being around material and part conveyance such as hopper loading. For a good number of hopper loader applications, the desire is to plunge a single suction tube down into a bulk of material and let it eat. While materials that are extremely fluid, meaning they don't clump, compact, or bridge, this may work just fine. For other materials, some additional steps may be needed in order to get optimal conveyance. The reason is you need ambient air entrainment around the suction point in order to introduce vacuum flow. As you can see here on my benchtop demonstration, when I press the tubing firmly against the surface, no matter what operating pressure I have at my line vac, the part will not move. This is due to the lack of ambient air entrainment. As soon as I break the tubing away from the service, the ambient air from around the suction tube becomes entrained and lifts the part away, creating my vacuum flow. The same ambient air entrainment is needed when trying to convey out of a bulk material or a hopper. If the material is too tightly packed, then that ambient air can't get entrained, creating the vacuum flow. If you want to know your options for making a plunge into material work, contact an application engineer and we will work through your application with you. Thanks for watching and have a great day.